The defense attorney for the former BSO school resource deputy who did not confront the MSD shooter cross-examined one of the state's key witnesses today. Local 10's Christina Vasquez is live with what came out in court. Christina. And a reminder that all of the charges in this case stem from those who were wounded and murdered on the third floor. It's just a barrage of bullets. Teacher Stacy Lapel with a heartbreaking <laughs> and harrowing account of when she saw the Parkland shooter in 2018 enter the third floor of the 1200 building of Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. And I saw Scott Beagle's body. Her colleague Scott Beagle died holding his classroom door open to offer fleeing students shelter. She was wounded. It was a war zone. I see bodies and a lot of blood. Did you see him at all that day? No, not that I recall. Prosecutors are working to prove Scott Peterson, the campus school resource officer, didn't investigate the sound of gunfire, failed to confront the shooter. He pointed at the 1200 building and said he's on the third floor. Jurors heard from responding officers like Coral Springs Detective Brett Chory, whose son attended the school. Wanting to save my son, wanting to save other people's sons and daughters. It's what we signed up to do. If you weren't ready for that day, when would you be ready? I hear shots fired. Did you hear Mr. Peterson there say, I hear shots fired? Yes. And responding Coral Springs police officer, Tim Burton. Keep the school locked down, gentlemen. The shooting is still going on. What is the officer supposed to be doing? Going towards the gunfire. And the jury in this case say also saw some difficult police body camera footage. Specifically, they saw responding officers rendering aid to Anthony Borges. He's the one who told this jury just last week he was shot five times. He is one of the student survivors in this case. So they saw those responding officers entering and what's called stopping the bleed, using the tourniquets they had on them to try to save who they could. Meantime, the defense in this case has always maintained that Peterson did not know precisely where the gunshots were coming from. In Fort Lauderdale, Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.